Hey, good morning, everyone. Well, here I am out in the snow. Yeah, that's me down here. And uh, I'm flying the Parrot and Naffy because uh, it's one of those days where there's just enough snow on the ground. I don't have to wear snowshoes yet. But uh, in the near future, I'm going to be out snowshoeing. I like the snowshoe hike on a lot of different trails. And I'm thinking of taking a quiet drone with me, which would be the Parrot and Naffy, because I think it's one of the more quiet drones. So here I am out, and I'm going to try it through the woods and just out and about. We'll see how it goes. So the Parrot Naffy is a pretty quiet drone, and that's why I take it with me when I'm walking around out in the snow and, well, the woods, because there's a lot of people, I don't know if you can see them, they've left now, but there's a lot of kids that were out here, and as well as people with dogs, so, you know, it's pretty decent to then just have a drone that's quiet. So I'm going to take this back into my little woods here, and uh, we'll see what happens. All right, so I'll get the drone to follow me through the woods out here. Now, you got to watch through trees. See, you can't really see these little trees. They're small in size. They have little branches that are very, very gray in color. There's no way even a drone with obstacle avoidance could see that. So it's kind of dangerous in the, the winter snowy time. So what we're heading to is these woods over here. Can't really see it because I'm walking sideways. Here, let me put the drone behind me. Oop, wrong way. Put the drone over there. There you go. Now you can see it a little bit better where I'm going. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep following me. It's just, just a tiny trail. This is just a test trail to see how it works. And uh, obviously, I can't have it follow me in there because it's going to crash into the trees. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to fly it in um, sort of like a, a tripod mode that, uh, you know, that parrot calls, they call it uh, film mode sort of like tripod mode that we'd use on a DJI drone. So uh, let's get close to the woods. I'll just bring you up a little bit and uh, get over these trees. There we go. And now I'll bring it down. We're going to go in the woods. I'm still in follow me mode. <laughs> it's still in follow me mode. It's still going. So I'll have to stop at about here because we're getting a little too close to the entrance. So you can fly it nice and slow. It looks pretty cool going through. Since there's no obstacle avoidance, it won't stop as it sees anything. You know, it's the slightest bit of light or some little twig in front. Should have nice smooth movements for turning, which we do. And the cool thing is, is like, I'll do it in the next part. I'll have the camera looking up as you're moving through. So it's pretty decent. You can get some pretty good cinematic shots. Especially at that height. A lot of drones don't like to fly at that height, especially if they have obstacle avoidance. Uh, you'd never be able to get that low, so you'd never be able to get this cinematic shot like this. And as we're flying, I can do the old, have the camera start to look up. There we go, we're looking up, it's checking out the beautiful trees above, and then bring it back down. So now I'm going to try another thing here. Okay, there's another mode on here, it's called Cinema Mode. I'm going to click at the Cinema Mode right now and see what happens. It says it's recording at 4K 24 frames per second. Ah, so cinema mode is 24 frames per second. I don't know if I don't think you'll see it on my video 24 frames per second. Here, I'll move forward because my video is in 30 frames per second. So the 24 will get changed to 30 frames per second, and you probably won't see any difference in the actual video. Uh, so I'll stop that. Here we go. From this point forward, we're in slow motion mode, flying through the trees. It's in slow motion mode now, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to try uh, a snowball. <laughs> Let me see. Grab some snow here. And uh, it should look slow motion as I throw this up in the air. Here we go. Let me get front. There I am. I should be slow motion. I'm tossing this ball up in the air. And catching it. Oh, I poor it. And if I throw the snow at the Anafi, I'm going to throw it 
just over the camera. Watch me hit the friggin' Anafi. Here we go. Okay, now I'm back in normal flight mode. It should be recording normal speed. So you have the beautiful woods here. I can take it up, but as you can see, as I'm looking up through my GoPro, you can see there's branches in the way, so I have to move it in different ways. It's such a light drone that I wouldn't want to take it up too high. I'll have it look down at me. There we are, it's looking down at me. Now let me get more in the center of the frame. There we are. That's pretty cool up there. So now, let me try that. I'm pretty high. I'm gonna try that mode. I'm gonna try to fly it forward. It's gonna be kind of dangerous, but here we go. It's kind of dangerous because there's branches up there. But I should be at the image as it's flying here. Okay. Just checking out all the modes I could use this for, for filming, for trying to get a really cool uh, video afterwards. So it's not too bad. Another cool thing, it should be looking at me and I should be able to zoom in to my head. There we are. Zooming in and now, well, let's zoom back out. Let's move the camera back up. Whoa! <laughs> Well, that was kind of dangerous as a branch right underneath the drone. Look at this, I'll bring, the, I'll bring the camera down. I'm sitting right on a tiny tree branch and I almost flew into it. All right, so let's go back up, camera up. Bring the drone up a little bit and uh, try to go forward. Yeah, it's too hard up there. I have to bring it down. Too many branches. Come on down and look up at me. Hey there, Adafi. <laughs> yeah, I'm right here. All right, so let's see what else we could try. So the Anafi is in hyperlapse mode right now. And what I'm gonna do is walk through the path uh, with the drone. So here we go, nice and slow. And you'll see the resulting image. So as I'm doing the hyperlapse here, what I'm trying to do is keep it smooth motions, which is very easy to do in film mode, which is sort of like I said, the DJI tripod mode and I'm trying to keep it at a constant speed so that when you watch the hyperlapse you should see this trail uh, just zoom at 30 times the normal speed. All right so what did you think of the hyperlapse? I haven't seen it you know I'm thinking it turned out okay you'll see it obviously you've already seen it but uh, I'll have to watch it when I get home. I like the way it flies it's not noisy I'm in the woods it doesn't cause a, uh, a ruckus or a racket to be heard, so it's pretty decent. There's a ton of other flight modes, but those are the only ones I could use in the woods right now. So other than that, it's pretty decent. And I like the fact that, you know, I'm standing, as I've already mentioned about the, uh, the noise, I'm standing right here. It's almost like I'm walking a dog or something because it's here beside me. The batteries handle well out in the cold too. Uh, that is the second battery I've put on since we've been filming, but I have been walking through this trail for a while. I'm just heading back out the, the entrance. What can I say? You know, this is going to come in handy when I'm snowshoeing this winter. Let's see if we can do a quick hand land. Hand landing on my hand. There we go. So, I'm pretty impressed with the Anafi. Uh, it's so light, like there's nothing to it. It's not even really warm. But uh, all in all, a lot of fun. All right, if you don't have a pair of Naffy, well, you might be in luck. They might still be on sale. On the Black Friday sale, they were at an awesome price, about $200 off. I don't know if they're still on sale. I'll put links below if I can find them on sale. So uh, check it out. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. I love the thumbs up. That's my favorite thing to look at. So give it a thumbs up and uh, I'll catch you in the next video.